it's Nona Grace, and I'm back for just a second. I'm so sorry. She thinks she's boring, but I she's not. I think that video was very boring. And I will put it in, and if you don't find it interesting, then just move right on. I'm, it's quite all right. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. For a little Emma update, Emma still has only one chick. Today, she, Jim had to take three eggs that she pushed out from underneath her and put them on the compost pile, and they were just liquid, liquidy. There was nothing in them. And where the fifth egg went, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, there is there's all, There was know. only the, the three that he got rid of and the one that hatched. And thank goodness she got one because Emma would have sat there forever. I would have had to go get some more eggs and just put them under her and let her sit some more. But she's happy and up and moving around. She hasn't come out of the little house, but she is walking around. I want to continue. I didn't finish very many, but I'll do a few today. And then I might have to do a few tomorrow because I don't want to make these videos very long. They, they are hard to upload when they're too long. But we had talked about food that we were not using properly or you were throwing away a lot of stuff and foods that people used to throw away and they are in great demand now like the chicken wings and the bones for making broth and the carcasses of turkeys oh excuse me mm -hmm. i just had salad i don't know what you had to eat tonight but i had salad I hadn't had salad in a long time, so I said to Jim when he was shopping that he should buy us some salad, so we got salad, and that's what I had. But anyways, the radish leaves, I don't know if you know, you, well, you do know you can eat the radish mm -hmm. leaves, because I showed you that. <laughs> that was something that you can eat in a stir-fry, in eggs, or in, I mean, you can even make a pesto out of it, or start well, you to... Can do, put them in your salad, too. Put them in salad, you can eat them raw if you wanted to. I like them cooked. And there's a lot of vitamin C and calcium in them. The watermelon rind, a lot of people will throw the white stuff away. You don't have to throw that away. That's actually, you can pickle it. It's quite tasty if you pickle the rind. It's not as sweet, but once you don't have sugars in your diet, that would actually taste sweet. And it's considered an immunity booster. Do you know what aquafaba is? Whoops, I know there's two here. I, I'm think that, that was the broccoli stalks. Do you know what aquafaba is? I'll do that one next. Aquafaba. Aquafaba. A lot of people don't know what aquafaba is. Unless you're vegan, you might know what aquafaga is. Aquafaba. I mean faba. Yeah, like fabi bean. Like fava. Mm -hmm. Faba. I know what it is. I told you though. <laughs> It's, it can be used as an egg replacement, but the aquafaba is actually the juices that come out of the can when you, when you have beans or chickpeas, that juice that's there. That can actually be used as an, as an egg substitute. Like if you were making something and, you didn't, and you're vegan and you didn't want to put an egg in it and you need something of moisture, you can use applesauce for that too, but the aquafaba... A lot. I just throw it down the drain because I rinse my beans off. The only time I eat that is when I have the chickpeas. I do like it. It is good. And it's probably got a lot of sodium in it, but I do like it. Uh, you can have that. And then there was also the the one that was stuck to it. Oh, this will be the last mm -hmm. one I do for you today, which is the broccoli stalks. How many of you throw your broccoli stalks away? Not I know. Me. I eat them. I. You can peel them. There, there is a woodiness to them if you, if you, if they're big. But you can peel them and get down. You can actually, when you look at the bottom, you'll see different colors. And if you get to the lighter color, I think it's lighter. Mm -hmm. That is where the softness is. And so you might as well cook those up because you're wasting otherwise. If you throw the stalks of the broccoli away, you don't need to do that. And the part that you took off. You could put that in your compost pile. You can do the same thing with cauliflower too. Yeah, I don't, I don't throw that away either. And did you know that there's more vitamin C in broccoli than there is in an orange? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's something that people don't know. Well, I better do one more because I've got it and on the same. There's more potassium in, in broccoli than there is in a banana too. Potassium, right? 
and there's and the beets and the beet stems those also have are high in potassium you can eat the beet leaves you can make a pesto out of those you can put them in your salad you can cook them and put them with eggs you can put them in stir fry there's a lot of any greens any of the dark greens or any of the greens that come off of your food you can eat so you might as well just eat it and don't waste it it's really very good it's just a matter of how you chop it up and prepare it a lot of times if you you um, cook it in water first to get rid of any bitterness if there is bitterness and this way you, then you fry it and it, it will taste good no matter how you eat it and that's it you can make with the uh, beets you can make a smoothie oh beets make a beautiful smoothie oh, so oh. pretty so pretty the color um, or you can put it in eggs or you can make a pesto well I hope you enjoyed learning about more food I have I still have more I didn't finish them all so there will be another one where I will be doing some foods so you have a great night I'll see you all tomorrow bye bye bye